Hello folks, we are actually back doing our little investigations and that. Now we're not, we're not very uh, long doing investigations. Um, you know, we have only have a handful of investigations under our belt. And in fact, you know, we have a couple of official investigations where you pay money and you go in with another team and that we have a couple of those done and stuff but actually a lot of our investigations then were during the day because i couldn't get the hang of lighting up the area that's supposed to be filmed but thankfully you know uh, we done a trial last night using only these cameras which are actually body worn cameras and we just we altered them to put a little thing on them although I actually put mine in a peak cap and I had it sitting there on my forehead so I was going around free hands and stuff now those videos will be out uh, very soon there's two different as there's two different uh, uh, ways of looking at it and what we're doing is on uh, Life After Life TV Productions, the film that I video will be going on there. I am going to be taking off the content on Foy Paranormal Investigators and I'm going to be putting Rachel's uh, videos on there. And actually sometimes, you know, I've been videoing longer than Rachel and sometimes she comes out with a better video than me. So if you're not uh, subscribed to this one, please subscribe to, you know, if you're if you're subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to uh, uh, Foy Paranormal Investigators as well, because if you're interested in what we're doing, you may want to see another angle on it. And when we go to into a location, we'll have two. We have two cameras. Um, we tried these out last night. Rachel had one of these in her hand with, with the grip and everything, so she was filming like this. I was filming them, filming with it on stuck on my cap there, and uh, you know we thought we may need extra lighting, and actually, actually it turned out not so bad. Um, there's six little built-in bulbs there where you would only get one, you would only get one LED light. On, on a on a night vision camcorder but you get six on this and this will go constantly for four hours it doesn't take much room up in your pocket and it's very light and stuff and we thought these were great the thing is if you're talking to yourself on it you can't fully you have to sort of guess because you don't have a flip screen flip flip over screen or anything like that but i want to share a clip because um we started to change our approach to paranormal investigating because we felt like I felt like we were going with the flow like everybody what everybody else was doing and we did have a lot of equipment in the car um, I had a I had a trolley bag ready with a wheels on it and a, and a handle that I could drag along and I says to Rachel I says um, do you know something I just want to go into the woods and, and just bring in as little as possible with me so I brought um, a manual sweep spur box and a, and a, a Radio Shack 12-587. Uh, and we've done some spur box sessions, short, short little spur box sessions, you know, uh, throughout the location we were in, which was a big forest and that. An old ancient forest with old ancient wood uh, oak trees and stuff. And, uh, you know, the other times we were just calling out because to this to this day most of my best evidence has been caught up in the audio of the of, of a camcorder and the thing is if, if you if you get caught up with too much technology you, you kind of you kind of forget to use your own senses like watching and listening and stuff so we sort of went with a more natural flow this time i thought it was great and we were so relaxed because i didn't have to set up loads of equipment and loads of cameras and tripods and 
K2 meters and REM pods and all that crap. You know, we were just happy to be in the woods and I, wherever we could fish in my pocket. You know, we I had used a um, a voice recorder as well. And I always say I don't do EVP sessions as such, but when I'm out in a location like that and you're moving about, you can't have a, a recorder recording all the time unless it's securely mounted to you and there's nothing rubbing against it or anything like that. So, um, you know, we tried out a few uh, EVP sessions and that. But I'm going to show you a clip now of a... We were sitting in the, in, in a seat and we, we were just looking around with the camera scanning around, looking and that. We were... Uh, I think we just finished a spurt box session and we just decided to sit in quiet and that. And we started talking and Rachel isn't long doing paranormal investigations and she doesn't look at YouTube. The only YouTube video she's looked at is, is a few of the things that I've watched. You know, we have uh, the ghost stories, which is paranormal tech, and very often they go live while I'm in Rachel's house, so we just like, well, I will sit and watch it or whatever. Um, you know, and some of our other uh, people that we, you know, are part of the community and that, you know, Brett, uh, Elemental Encounters and that. A lot of noise outside for some reason. But the thing about it is, is because she doesn't look at very many people, she's not influenced by anybody. You know, so she's able to sort of do things for herself. And to me, that's a good thing because I started off this and I was going with the flow like what everybody else is doing. Because I was watching Ghost Adventures and all those things. And, you know, sort of following this same pattern where a lot of people have, have, have gone along that line of following the same pattern, trying this and trying that and uh, all that kind of thing. So, um, I asked her about her, her uh, you know, her experiences now and what she thinks of the paranormal now that she's in it, you know. So I want to play that little clip now. Puffing the cigarette. <laughs> You know what we're trying to do? We're trying to we're trying to do our own thing rather yeah. than following what everybody else is doing. Act, yeah. Everybody else is doing. You know, they're going to a place. Yeah. They start doing apps and doing and the same thing. Now, I probably have. I'm probably one of the peop one of the people that has one of the most amount of equipment yeah. in the country. But sometimes that just isn't enough. Uh -huh. Sometimes it takes a simplistic approach. And very often the simplistic approaches is where you get your evidence. Yes. Your sound on your camera, your visions and stuff like that. And we just wanted to chill out one tonight. We didn't want to be dragging cases of shite with us. And this is not a place for carrying around cases of fucking equipment with us. And wheelie bags and all I that. Know, I have a wheelie bag in the car with my stuff in it, but... You couldn't wheel it right in here anyway. No, it just no. makes too much flipping noise. What do you think of... Elementals? You know the, the yeah. videos we seen this morning? Uh, Edwin... Whatever his name is. I don't... I don't know, it's hard to say. Like from the videos we've seen and all, I'd like to think there is something like that. They'd be cool. We fairies, we little goblin looking things. But it's still very strange. But the paranormal was very strange to me until I started with you. Until we, like I know it, we haven't been through much. But the likes of knocks, people answering us back. You know, we things like that have completely changed my perception now whereas I thought oh, at the start maybe you know 
Yeah. It was more, not that it was a laugh or anything, but it was just like, we'll go with the flow. I don't think there's going to be much. Yeah. But then we, things like, the sort of make you realise there is something else around. Yeah. Whatever. I think it all yeah. it all started for you in Dunry when you asked me for a lend of a yes. camera. And I... Mm-hmm. I didn't really tell you to do anything. No. You just went off and you'd done your just stuff. We came to ground, man. And it was a, it was an old Canon, I think it was. Yeah, it's it was an old Canon, Canon yes. point and shoot. And actually, you picked up, you picked up a lady's voice that night, That's the first right. time of using it. Yeah. And it was just you had your camera and you were calling out. Yeah, that was it. Do you know? There was a car fucking about. Yeah. You, you you don't particularly look at the channels on YouTube, really. No, no. Not unless, as I say, like, if something you're with me and we're watching something on YouTube, or, but I wouldn't really sit down and go, oh, I must watch this. It's like, yeah. I just yeah. like when I can do and what we're doing, but I just, I wouldn't. I think it'd be too much doing this all the time, watching and watching and what, you know. Yeah. Like, I know I don't learn much, but I learn new things when I'm not with you or when we're out. Doing our own thing. I think it's a different story when you're out doing it yourself. Yeah. The thing is, you know, you've learned what the expectations are. That eight times out of ten. Yeah. Rec- no, they could be over near the. Yeah. You hear them. Eight times out of ten, we're going to get fuck all. Yeah. That's you know it. what I mean. Mm-hmm. But that's okay. You know, okay, we went yeah. out and we flipped and tried. You know. We tried. We done. We done and. You know, and there's times there where I do stuff at home with ITC. You know, that's a little bit different to what yes. we do out here and that. There you go. That was us having a little chat on a bench in the middle of an investigation. <coughs> and the thing is, you know, I would sometimes ask Rachel, you know, what did you think of the location tonight and all the rest of it. And I would have a... You know, I would have a big camcorder, like that, pointed towards her, and sometimes she'd fall to pieces. The thing is, you know, the camera was mounted to my cap here, and I was freehand and stuff, and maybe that is why the conversation flowed a little bit more natural. And then I discovered that I'm a natural swearer, you know. Um, maybe because the cameras are so small that we just kind of, we kind of opened up a bit, you know. But I just thought I would share that, because I know there's new, people come new into the field all the time, and they're trying to find out how to investigate, and when you go through YouTube, it starts getting confusing because you've got a load of different people doing different things and sometimes a lot of the same things and then you've got the real and fake and the entertainment you know and you know to try and learn from that is quite difficult but Rachel's learning was 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 different you know, she followed what I was doing, but I was actually following, originally following what everybody else was sort of doing. What was, what, how you were do, doing it on YouTube. And, you know, this investigation, which is our first one in a long time, I, I've, I've had a lot of time to think, what direction do I want this to go? And... For that, for us, for the first investigation in a, in a way, we wanted a kind of a chill out one. We wanted a low tech approach. You know, we just had we just had what we could hold in our pockets, and very very small cameras, and that, and you know, using our senses a, a, a bit more as well. Not talking as much. I have a habit of talking too much, just like a lot of YouTubers are. Um, but I just thought that might be a little bit of an inspiration for people starting out and stuff like that, you know. Um, Rachel just started out in, in 2019, you know. As I said, she was she was 
she was I was I was encouraged her to call out what I was doing stuff and uh, and that and I was doing all the filming and that and all the editing. I'm still doing all the editing, but now we have two cameras, uh, which means that there's two videos and one video was on one channel, the other one was on the other. And that means there's two different angles to the same investigation because uh, evidence could be picked up one camera and missed on the other. You know, um, the more cameras you have on a, a location, the more chances you have of, of getting stuff, you know. So that's the way we, we are rolling with that. Um, you know, if we're out in a location like that and we have to do a lot of trans transit, moving from place to place, um, to me, you know, travelling light is just the thing. We, you know, I have mobility and s mobility issues and stuff like that. And even with a shoulder bag, with stuff, it, it's a handy thing because you can pull the bag over here and you can get what you want. But I have a habit of overloading that bag and making it too heavy for myself. And it seems light at the time until about 20 minutes of wearing it, you know. So, you know, that night... I wasn't stressed, I wasn't in pain as much and you know, it was, I was able to it was able to flow more. But, you know, we get that investigation up as soon as possible, you know. We started off it started it was it was kinda of bright when we started off and it got dark about twenty minutes twenty minutes later and that. But while it was starting to get bright or while it was starting to get dark, they night vision when you seen the trees and stuff they like they look like feathers they 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 just glowed with with this night vision and stuff you know and even when it got dark and we could hardly see through the visor and we were saying we're gonna need new we're gonna need bring ir lights for the next time and that you know we got home i got when we got home and i put the files through the the uh, I had to look at the files before I went to bed, which meant I didn't go to bed till about half past four. Um, but the areas where I thought was a bit too dark, it, it still, it still, it worked. It, we didn't see it on the visor properly. We were saying this is too dark. We need more illumin illumination, and more more illumin illumination. While it is really really dark, will help, especially in the winter time and that. But. Those little cameras, they just done the job. It's done, done, done exactly what we wanted them to do. There's no zoom or anything like that. I don't think there is. But, you know, they're simple enough to use. You can clip them. You, there's a little clip on them. You can clip them on your jacket. Um, you know, you can get ones with little, little mountings that you can put into a jacket that you wear. You can clip it on that way or use it the way that uh, Rachel was using it that night, um, you know. Um, me, I had less control, but I thought, you know, where my eyes were looking, that's where the camera was facing as well. So I tried that one out as well, and it gave me more freedom. It made me feel like I wasn't filming at all, which meant that I could come out and be sort of more open, and, and you just forget your filming, you know. But I'm gonna leave it for now, folks, and I will try and get that uh, those two videos up as soon as I possibly can. But um, it's lifted my spirits getting out. It really has. I've uh, been here for a couple of months, sitting looking at the computer, not getting enough exercise, getting sicker and sicker, and just getting out, chilling out. It just it just lifted us up, you know. And it was a lovely, peaceful, quiet place, and that uh, it really. I want wanted to go out tonight and I says um, I'll go home have something to eat and then I'll go out but I only got four hours sleep last night I'm really really tired my mind really wants to get out get another video done or get another investigation done uh, and um, start on that but I'm just much I'm just re I am really really physically tired so I'm gonna wait and go out tomorrow night I don't know where I'm gonna go tomorrow night but I'm looking forward to it and I might try the same approach, just mount the camera on, pretend the camera's not there and just walk around, bring different pieces of equipment this time and uh, try out new things and stuff. Um, 
I'm just so glad to be back. You know, months and months of doing a few live streams and a few in-car rants and ITC. I like ITC, but, you know, it gets boring out of the way when I... Yes, the, you sometimes you get stuff, sometimes you don't. And the more you do the stuff, the more chances you have. But I just wanted to get out. I just wanted to get out and about. I wanted to show you places. But, um, you know, even though this is one of our... Uh, one of our first outdoor nighttime locations, this, these things, they just, they just, they just saved the day. It really, they, they, really, really good vision on them, you know. Not as steady as the camcorders, but still, if you were, if you were stuck, and you didn't want a big, massive rig with loads of lights and stuff. That doesn't take up much space in that. You can do an investigation anywhere with these. They're, you know, brilliant, brilliant stuff. But anyway, I blabbered on enough. I will see you when we get to those, those investigations on Premier or whatever. And uh, look forward to chat to you all then. And hope to get live done somewhere around after that. So I will see you in the next one, folks. This is the official road, isn't it? We'll go back the official road and see if there's a turn off to that hill. Yeah. For anybody that's just joined us, we're not looking for Bigfoot.